Hey, we landed on the moon. We sailed around the world. Romeo met Juliet. Hey, it's hard to imagine that there are creatures out there who saw it all happen. Immortal animals. Well, almost. Glass sponges are weird little creatures that sit in one place for thousands of years. From their favorite spot under the sea, they witnessed the first Europeans crossing over to the Americas. They can live up to 15,000 years. And what's even cooler is that they can control their aging process, speed it up or slow it down. They have a glass-like exoskeleton for protection. Lobsters can grow back a limb if they lose it. And they're basically immortal. They produce an unlimited number of enzymes that keeps their DNA young forever. And they just keep on growing. That means they outgrow their own shells. They have to shed their exoskeleton every now and then and upgrade to a bigger one. The largest lobster ever caught was 44 pounds off the coast of Nova Scotia. Scientists think this large lobster was around 100 years old. It was around when Edison invented the phonograph. This next creature is a mix between a jellyfish and a tree branch. Each end of the hydra has a ringed foot, and it spends its days chilling by lakes and rivers. Its tentacles grab onto tasty snacks that swim past it. So, what's the secret to its immortality? That's something everyone wants to know. The hydra has the ability to renew its stem cells. Scientists have been trying to do that for years. They can actually slow down their aging process. Now, these little sea creatures are red sea urchins. They sit on seaweed in shallow waters and are immortal. Well, we haven't been studying them long enough to know for sure. But scientists say they only grow in size, not in age. What? Well, they sort of stay like little baby urchins, but grow in size. Adult, baby urchin, okay. These little babies can reach around 100 years old, even 200. The slowest on the list? The giant tortoise. It can reach 200 years old. And one of the oldest is Jonathan. He's technically the oldest crawling land animal. He was born in 1832 and lives it up on a remote island called St. Helena. Jonathan's been through a lot. He's seen the very first American skyscraper. The Eiffel Tower. Oh yeah! He's also lived through every single World Series, starting when he was 71 years old. Now, he can't see too well, and he's lost his sense of smell. But he's still going strong. Back to the oceans and the Greenland shark. It's been known to be the longest living vertebrate and can live more than 400 years. Swimming around for that long in the deep, dark, cold ocean means these sharks are tough. They're able to withstand insane water pressure. Sharks are one of the only creatures today that haven't been affected too much by evolution. Many sharks have been around since the dinosaurs and haven't changed much. Scientists found out that they grow around a half an inch per year. So, with a little bit of quick math, they can easily find out the age of these tough sharks. Imagine seeing a shark that's older than the USA. This next creature is probably the most durable, indestructible, and cutest on the list. It's called a tardigrade, but scientists nickname it water bear because I guess it looks like one. But it's not exactly bear size. It has eight legs and hands with a strange little nose. And these bizarre microscopic creatures are indestructible. They're known to live in the most extreme places on the planet. They're fine with temperatures as high as 300 and as low as minus 330. Volcanoes, frozen desert nights, they can even handle radiation and massive amounts of pressure in the deepest parts of the ocean. They can even survive the vacuum in space. No tiny little spacesuit or anything. Yeah, that would be cute enough. So far, they've survived 10 days on the outside of a spaceship, but they could probably do longer. Tardigrades might be able to outlive humans if there's some sort of worldwide catastrophe. Microscopic organisms in charge of the planet. Hmm, wonder what that would look like. Whether it's all the volcanoes erupting at once, or another ice age, or even another pesky asteroid. Tardigrades probably wouldn't even notice. Scientists are studying them to see if they can help us with some next-level biotech. Now, just for fun, here's the mayfly. 
This poor little insect doesn't even make it past 24 hours on average. Females and males can make it to a whopping two days old. Talk about living in the moment! These little flies grow in swarms and are known to have one of the shortest lifespans of any creature. But as a species? Well, they've been around for hundreds of millions of years. Jellyfish have discovered the fountain of youth, and surprise, surprise, it's been inside them all along. Not inspirational poster style, but literally, it's always been inside them. Jellyfish are able to reverse their aging process whenever they want. Imagine you're swimming along and then you think to yourself, gee, I kind of want to be 8 again. And poof, there you are. Who wouldn't want to go back to being 8? That's how jellyfish stay young and live stress-free. These brainless and boneless creatures can turn the clock back anytime they want, as long as no one bothers them. They're super chill, just floating in whatever direction the current takes them. Like, uh, go with the flow? This creature looks like something right out of a sci-fi movie, and you could say it has sort of alien features. The giant Weta outweighs a mouse and is considered one of the biggest insects out there. You find these big bugs in New Zealand. While jellyfish can reverse their aging process, some members of the Weta family can come back to life. Talk about superpowers! If they get completely frozen, they start to make special proteins that stop their organs from getting ruined. After whatever amount of time they're frozen, they can be thawed out and brought back to life, like nothing ever happened. In fact, the giant Weta has ears on its knees in its front legs. And because it can resurrect, it's also called the zombie bug. <coughs> Planaria are flatworms that are unique. Apart from being practically immortal, they're the ultimate regeneration machines for lost body parts. If you take one of them and divide its body into 10 parts, you'll end up with 10 new planaria. You keep dividing them up, they'll keep multiplying, even though they're usually less than an inch long. Imagine if we could figure out how to do that. Would that be a way for us to live forever? Or would we end up with a totally crazy world with copies of everyone walking around? How about the world's fastest relay team? Four identical Usain Bolts. Now, clams have been around for a really long time. Scientists have discovered that they can live up to 400 years old. These little shelled creatures are the ones that create those shiny little pearls everyone loves. A clam will go into action mode when a parasite gets inside. The clam tries to cover the parasite with a bunch of special chemicals, the same ones it uses to make the inside of its shell. That's when the magic starts to happen. When these chemicals harden up, they make a shiny, glossy pearl. The more chemicals, the bigger the pearl. Now, this long, slippery-looking creature lives deep in the caves of Europe. Ulm can live up to be 100 years old. It spends its days hunting for little insects, snails, and crabs with its tiny front arms and wriggling, snake-like body. Its skin is so pale that some locals even call it the human fish. Hey, wait a minute! The ulm is almost blind, but it can still detect light. It just mostly does it through its skin. Like other blind animals, it has a supercharged sense of hearing and smell. It gets its distinct look from those little red gills around its neck. 